Hey there, Tori here from ToriToth.com, the place to be to create a home buyers or anyone for that matter will find irresistible. So today I wanted to show you how I transform my summer front and side yard into the fall. So we're adding some fall foliage into our decorating scheme when it comes to our curb appeal and entertaining area. So come with me and let's find out. All right, so let's start right here on the side yard. Right here behind me is where we used to have all of our vegetables growing over the summer, but basically they've overstayed their welcome. They aren't producing anymore, and so it was time to get rid of them. So we basically flattened out the bed, gotten rid of any of uh, resemblance of these plants, and we're just working with dirt again. And rather than keeping it plain and boring, I decided let's spruce it up a little bit this fall because we're going to be entertaining people and having people sit outside for dinner and why not show them something pretty that will remind them that it is October and November. All right, so we are using grasses, mums, and my favorite, <laughs> pumpkins and weird ones at that. So the first thing that we're doing is digging a hole so we can put the grass basically going to be the largest piece that we're putting in. So that's gonna be the anchor in this bed here. And then everything else is gonna go around this grass. And you basically wanna break up the base of the grass just so the roots can then start growing into its new home. So we have the whole dog for the mum. Okay, so this is the next thing we're gonna be tackling right now. These are the potted plants that go on top of our fence uh, in the front yard. And this is the first thing that you see coming down the street when it comes time to come look at our house. And I like to put a statement piece here. Um, I usually mix and match flowers together, except this time I'm just gonna put one gigantic mum in them and I'll mix and match flowers and some of the other vases and pots that I have in my front yard. All right, and then rather than throwing this out because it is still growing and this could easily last into November, I'm gonna put it, transfer it to a different pot here in the side yard. Okay, so we have some rocks at the bottom of this pot and then I just put some new uh, potted soil in here. So I'm gonna put this gigantic mom in the pot and just add any other dirt too to make it so it stays and it transfers nicely. All right, and we have one more of these to do. Now, if you're going to choose mums, you wanna choose a flower that have um, the buds on them but have not bloomed yet. And this will just make sure that they stay in full bloom for longer for you. So we added two large mums to our front pots. And as you can see, they stand out as you come walking up to your house. Next, the pots that are on our fence. All right, so we have two more uh, pots that go on top of the fence and I've done other videos in the past, um, actually a winter container video and a summer container video that I'll put down below. I'll put those links down below and you'll be able to see how I recreate these planters depending on what season it is. Okay, so now that we have the soil in, um, I decided that I'm going to do a mixture of plants and flowers. So I've gotten some smaller cabbages here that I'm going to put in. And basically whatever I do to one container, I'm gonna to do to the opposite container too because I want it to look symmetrical. We also have some Brasecca, which is another cabbage-like plant. It's very colorful. All 
All right, now um, I decided what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use smaller uh, mums to go inside these containers. I wanna make sure that it matches the color that, the color mums that I've already used in those big containers that go on my fence. So I've got more purple, and I think I'm gonna mix it with white just to make it look, have a little bit of mixed color in there. Now we also have two urns that go in our front yard as well. So I figured um, I'm gonna actually keep some of the things that are already growing in the urn. We removed most of the impatience and I just need to remove some dirt because I'm gonna add some mums to these containers as well. And since I had a little bit of the purple and the white left over, I decided to put some a purple and white mum in here to obviously um, make sure that it's cohesive with the other urns and containers that we've done. Um, but I'm also adding this orange mum as well to make this urn stand out.